Hello everyone, this is Kevin Cruz here with Texas Orthopedic Associates in Dallas, Texas. We're a division of Lone Star Orthopedics. Um, here today talking to you about uh, shoulder surgery and uh, some of the reasons why we use the, the devices and implants that we use in shoulder surgery. So if you've made the decision uh, to have your shoulder replaced because severe pain due to arthritis or a rotator cuff tear, the next step we talk about is uh, replacing the shoulder. And again, we've talked about there, there's two types of shoulder replacements. Some patients I know right off the bat which type I'm going to use, uh, but very often I don't know the type of implant I'm going to use, whether we're going to do the standard anatomic shoulder as opposed to the reverse shoulder until I sit down on a computer and I map out your surgery. And there are a lot of different factors that we take into account when we're trying to make that decision. Um, a lot of it has to do with the status of your rotator cuff. It has to do with the wear of your socket and your glenoid. And, and this is all very new in, in orthopedics and in the shoulder world. And it's really a moving target. And the data that's coming out every single year, it's we're, we're, we're fine tuning our indications. And uh, you know, where I trained in France, uh, I was very fortunate to train with who I feel is one of the foremost shoulder surgeons in the world and the guy who's really on the cutting edge of, of doing the studies and the research to try to figure out which patient we should put in which implant. And also the surgeon who really was the in at the forefront of using um, 3D mapping and computer navigation to help us put these implants in in a more accurate way and also make decisions about which implant implant to use. And so for me, I have never not used a computer to map out a shoulder surgery. I've used it. It's, it's a huge part of my practice. And so for me, being able to get a CT scan of your shoulder and to sit down on a computer and really map out the operation, um, it's, it's integral to what I do. Uh, so once I do that, I'll be able to make the decision. We'll be able to tell you before the operation which implant we're going to use. Um, the company that, I'm, that I currently use is Arthrex. The reason why I like Arthrex is because of some subtleties of their implant design. Um, they, they have a really nice computer navigation system uh, that allows me to map out your shoulder. They have a guide that's uh, a 3D printed guide or 3D guide that's, that's used on the computer to basically take what we did on the computer and put it into your shoulder exactly like we mapped it out on the, on the, on the, on the computer. Um, so it's, I tell everyone it's, you know, it's really a customized implant to your shoulder. We can put everything in exactly like we mapped it out on the computer. It's very, very accurate surgery cuts down a massive amount on our operation time. You know, our typical total shoulder time skin to skin is 40 to 50 minutes, which is very, very quick. And a lot of that is because we've mapped everything out beforehand on the computer. There's no guesswork. There's no trialing. There's no templating the operation. We know exactly what we're going to put in. The reps in the room know what we're going to put in. The scrub techs know. And we just, when we go into the operation, we're just putting everything in. And we very rarely deviate from our plan. I like Arthrex's computer system. Their guide is reusable, so I don't have to wait several weeks to get their guide, which is something unique on the, on the market. They also have a lot of different implant um, uh, uh, variability, which allows me to do the majority of the operations I need to do in the shoulder. The other thing I like about Arthrex is for their standard shoulder replacement, they have a stemless shoulder uh, that uh, essentially allows you to do the standard anatomic shoulder without putting a stem all the way down in the humerus. So you're taking away less bone, you're getting a more accurate recreation of the anatomy. And their stemless implant has actually been on the market longer than any stemless implant in the world. It was first brought into the market in Europe uh, almost 15 years ago. So it's got the longest amount of follow-up of that new, newer shoulder implant uh, that really has only started taking off in the United States in the last two to three years. So they have a really nice portfolio of products uh, that allow me to treat 95% of the shoulder pathology that I see uh, when it comes to joint replacements. Um, and uh, yeah, they've done a really good job so far.